The world of HDR imaging is relatively new, and understanding how the full HDR ecosystem functions and what advantages it brings can be complex. HDR is short for high dynamic range. In the realm of photography, dynamic range is the ratio between the brightest and darkest parts of an image, from pure black to the brightest white. This ratio of luminance is expressed in stops for photography and can be considered a measure of exposure to the doubling or halving of light. A high dynamic range scene can be considered as a scene with more than 10 stops of dynamic range. After the photo is captured, it must be encoded and displayed. In the realm of display, we use nits or candelas per square meter to express luminance. Consider that a typical SDR display could achieve around 200 nits, whereas some modern HDR displays can support 1000 nits across their entire screen. Color range is also an important piece of this puzzle. For many years, the number of levels on a standard display was limited to 256 and could be coded on 8 bits max. We are now seeing OLED and AMOLED displays supporting 10-bit or 8-bit plus FRC bit depth. To understand the magnitude of change, an 8-bit color system can produce over 16 million colors, while a 10-bit system can produce 64 times of the colors of the 8-bit. 8-bit plus FRC achieves this higher color range by manipulating pixels, so they flash two alternating colors so quickly that your eye perceives them as the intended 10-bit shade of color. The challenge arises when we try to compress all of this information onto a file format like JPEG that is limited to 8 bits. Let's consider the example of a smartphone camera capturing HDR images. Thanks to the help of hardware accelerators called image signal processing, images are processed on a much larger number of bits, some even up to 18 bits. Techniques like multi-exposure bracketing and multiple frame merging are commonly used in smartphone photography in order to capture a wider range of visual information and once merged result in an overall higher dynamic range. When this image is encoded at 8 bits, the dynamic range will be significantly reduced compared to that of the original scene and will result in a loss of contrast and detail. However, smartphone manufacturers and image editors have developed a solution that cleverly incorporates both SDR and HDR renditions within a single image file, allowing for dynamic transitions between the two during display. This method is known as a special case of HDR tone mapping and has been implemented by smartphone manufacturers like Apple and Google. It uses what is called a gain map that is embedded within the image file, along with other important metadata in order for the same file to be visible on either SDR or HDR displays. Take this example image of a woman sitting in front of a window taken on a smartphone with HDR photo. The SDR image is visible here, however embedded within the file is the gain map which will be activated if this image were to be viewed on an HDR display. The gain map can be considered almost like a mask that isolates the brighter elements in the image that will be otherwise compressed or rolled off on an SDR display or enhanced on an HDR display. Here is a simulation of how the SDR photo would be enhanced on an HDR display thanks to the application of this gain map. The advantages of HDR display truly shine when the content captured by the camera spans a broad dynamic range of light levels. Take the example of this night scene that has a wide range of light levels from the bright spotlights in the background to the dark night sky and artificial lights on the model's face. High contrast scenes like this can be even more visually stunning thanks to a high quality HDR display and the ability to properly view the files with the use of this gain map method. With the advancement of HDR display technology and major smartphone manufacturers developing their own HDR formats, we can expect this trend to continue. Learn more about HDR imaging and gain maps on our website at dxomark.com.